Okay, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to bring in a vector file from Adobe Illustrator into After Effects and then extrude that file, in other words give it depth so that you can animate that file with rotations, that sort of thing. So typically we might do this with a corporate logo, something like that. Um, and so here we go, first thing we need to do is to bring in our Illustrator file. So we go to the file menu, import file, we navigate to the file we're looking for which is this one here and we click on open and then we get some options. I always like to bring in the individual layers so choose layer and then you've got this pop-up menu to choose which layers you need. I need that one and then we just have to repeat the process file import file select the file open choose layer and I need that inner red circle as well there we go. You can use the keyboard shortcut Command I, saves a bit of time. Choose the next layer, I need the text and Command I. Choose layer, um, I don't want that white out, I do want the blue one though. So we've got our image into After Effects. Let's create ourselves a new comp. Um, I'm just going to do 1080, 25p because I'm in Europe. OK, now let's bring our images into the timeline like this. There we go. OK, that text is in a funny position. We can sort that out. There's something else slightly odd about the text which I'll talk to you about in a moment. Uh, Let's get it roughly in position. We'll need to bring it up to the top so we can actually see it. That could do with a bit of rotation perhaps as well, but I'm not going to be overly fussy for the sake of getting through this in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, so we've got our vector files onto the timeline. Uh, we need to tell it that they're vector files, so we turn on continuous rasterize, and also I want this to be a 3D animation. OK, so that's gone a bit weird, but don't worry about that. The next step is kind of crucial. So we select one of the layers and we go to the Layer menu, Create, Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And you'll see what that's done is our vector file has now been turned off. It's still there, but it's not visible anymore. We've got this new shape layer in place of it. I'm going to repeat that for all of our layers here. OK, uh, as ever, you can do it another way so there's right click you get the same option there and uh, right click create create shapes from vector layer there we go okay now I think I mentioned that there was something odd about the text the odd thing about that is we need to actually move its position slightly on the z-axis to be able to see it. There we go, boom. That's good, so now we can see that. Well, let's look at the um, options that we've got here. Uh, and you see we've got geometry options now, which are available. Uh, and we've got extrusion depth now. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned is if you go to your comp settings, up here, comp settings, uh, 3D renderer, you need to have the Cinema 4D chosen rather than the classic 3D in order to get those geometry options available. OK, and so now we'll go, let's view it from the left because it will make this more obvious what's happening. Extrusion depth, let's increase that. What should we go for? Let's shall we go for 25 maybe, see what that's like. So with our outer red circle, that has given us some depth. If we go back to the front, there we go. And if I now go to transform and I can rotate that red circle around the others like that, which is quite cool, isn't it? OK. So, you know, that might be enough for you or you might want to extrude the depth on all of them. Another thing which is quite useful is if you create a null object, let's put that here, and 
you then make the null object the master for all of your shape layers like this uh, null and uh, null we need to make it a 3d layer so that we get the y-axis on the rotation and then we can spin the whole lot together which is rather nice uh, another thing that's quite cool that I like doing is is if we gave the blue circle some depth here so what did we make here um, geometry options extrusion depth 25 there if we take the text and duplicate that oh, it's in edit isn't it duplicate there we go if we then transform and we rotate this 180 bosh position here we go if we make that plus 26 and now we go to our null object again oh hang on let's put our front text back on uh, and transform Y rotation has it worked yes we've now got depth on the blue circle and we've got text on both sides cool there we go hope that's helpful